Well, good evening. I don't have a, a jar of poop with me tonight, uh, or even a jar of mosquitoes, but uh, managing human waste is one of the world's oldest and toughest challenges. And I would say most leaders are not willing to talk about it, in part because uh, the solutions aren't that easy. But we do have to talk about it. We hear a lot about malaria, and we should, because it's devastating and we're making progress. But sanitation-related illnesses kill more kids every year than malaria does. In 2014, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the Swatch Bharat mission, a program with the very ambitious goal of eliminating open defecation in India. Before the project, the government estimated that more than half a billion people were defecating in the open. But today, just five years later, thanks to the leadership of hundreds of thousands of people in communities across India, the vast majority now have access to safe sanitation. This progress is critical to achieving SDG 6 for water and sanitation, which is lagging far behind. While there is still more work to do to sustain this progress over the long run, we're already seeing the life-saving impact. India's Swatch Bharat mission is already serving as a model for other countries around the world that urgently need to improve access to safe sanitation for the world's poorest. That's why today I'm pleased to be presenting the Global Goalkeeper Award to Prime Minister Narendra Modi for the progress India is making in improving sanitation. Uh, we've got a film about the project uh, that will give you uh, more about it, which uh, I, I know you'll enjoy. The year was 2014. The practice of open defecation, adopted over generations, had hardened into a deep-rooted habit seldom questioned. And then, someone did. In 2019, when Mahatma Gandhi gave us the Jainti, we will make our city, our city, our city, our city, our school, our mandir, our hospital, all the chetra, the name of the name of the Gandhi is not the name of the Gandhi. The world said it was an impossible dream. The challenges were too many, too big. The scale of the problem was so big that if India didn't eradicate this practice, the world would not be able to achieve SDG 6. A sense of urgency was critical for achieving the mission's goals. The stigma attached to having a toilet at home was a result of beliefs held for centuries by young and old alike. Going forward, the new behavior would have to be sustained to make it a habit, a norm. If scale was a challenge, the answer also lay in scale. Team Swachh Bharat worked at scale, making the mission a Janandur a true people's movement. Cooperative federalism between all levels of government, the PM, CM, DM, VM model, was critical in achieving the ambitious goals in a limited time frame. The stigma of having a toilet at home was addressed by triggering behavior change through the right communication, delivered at the right places, and through known, trusted channels. To ensure sustainability, there are things that we must continue doing, areas we must continue investing in. And the results are already showing.
This progress has also started generating positive impacts across sectors on the health of children and women, on household incomes, and on the environment. I commend India for making the elimination of open defecation a priority at the highest level and throughout government. May I congratulate you, Prime Minister. For the Swachh Bharat mission to succeed, despite all the challenges, the four key principles it was built on had to work well and work together. Political leadership. Partnerships. Public funding. And people's participation. And they did. Making the Swachh Bharat mission the largest sanitation revolution in the world. To realize a century-old dream of the father of our nation. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome uh, this year's award winner to the stage, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Thank you.